Imagine a partner who never, ever sighs dramatically and says, I'm fine. When they are clearly not fine, you have achieved optimal partner function. This robot will not have a bad day unless its battery is low. Its sentiment analysis software can read your micro-expressions and tone of voice with a precision that would make a psychologist weep with envy. It can predict your needs before you are even consciously aware of them. It will never be too tired for a deep conversation. It will never think its football game is more important than your emotional crisis. But how does this marvel of engineering actually work? What sorcery allows a machine to decode the human heart? A feat we so often fail at ourselves. The secret lies in its sentiment analysis software. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. A symphony of algorithms playing the music of your emotions. Think of it not as a single program, but as a multi-layered orchestra of digital senses. At its core, the system is built on a principle called machine learning, which is a fancy way of saying it learns from experience just like us, but on a biblical scale. It has been fed a data set of human emotion so vast it would take you a thousand lifetimes to watch. Every tear-jerking movie, every stand-up comedy special, every recorded therapy session, every viral video of a soldier returning home to a dog. From this ocean of data, it learns to associate specific cues with specific feelings. The first violin in this orchestra is facial recognition. But we're not talking about the simple kind that unlocks your phone. This is about micro-expressions, the fleeting, involuntary facial movements that betray our true feelings. Did you know that a flicker of contempt, lasting less than a fifteenth of a second, can predict marital dissatisfaction with startling accuracy? This robot knows. It tracks the subtle crinkle around your eyes that differentiates a genuine smile of joy from a polite, social one. Researchers at MIT's Media Lab have been pioneering this field, known as effective computing, for years, developing systems that can read these infinitesimal cues better than most trained humans. The robot's optical sensors are high-resolution cameras, capturing thousands of frames per second, analyzing the geometry of your face, the tension in your brow, the slight quiver of your lip. It sees the ghost of an emotion before it has even fully formed on your face. Then comes the second violin, vocal analysis. Your words say, I'm fine, but what about the music behind them? The software doesn't just hear the words. It analyzes the prosody of your speech. Is your pitch slightly higher than usual, a sign of stress? Is your speech pace slower, indicating sadness or fatigue? What about the jitter and shimmer in your voice, the subtle acoustic variations that your conscious mind might miss but which are clear signals to the algorithm? It's like having a sound engineer for your soul, detecting the emotional reverb in every syllable you utter. This technology is already being explored in call centers to gauge customer frustration and in healthcare to help diagnose conditions like depression and Parkinson's disease, which can alter vocal patterns. But our perfect partner robot takes it a step further. It integrates this with physiological data. Perhaps it holds your hand, and its skin-like sensors measure your heart rate variability, your galvanic skin response, a tiny change in sweat, and your temperature. Are your palms clammy while you insist everything is wonderful? Is your heart racing while you describe your relaxing day at work? The robot cross-references this biometric data with the facial and vocal cues, creating a rich, three-dimensional model of your emotional state. It's a process called multimodal sentiment analysis, and it's where the real magic happens. Why is this multimodal approach so crucial? Because humans are masters of deception, especially self-deception. We can school our faces into a mask of neutrality, Choose our words with care. 
but the body rarely lies. By weaving together these different threads of information, the robot can spot the contradictions. It knows your smile is a mask because the muscles around your eyes aren't engaged. Your voice lacks its usual warmth, and your heart is beating a frantic rhythm against its palm. The underlying technology is a type of artificial intelligence called a neural network, which is loosely modeled on the human brain. Imagine a vast, intricate web. When the robot perceives your face, voice, and touch, it sends these signals rippling through the web. Each connection in the web has a certain weight or strength, and as the signals pass through, they are modified. Through its training, the network has learned to adjust these weights so that a specific pattern of inputs, a slight frown, a low-pitched voice, a cool hand, will result in a specific output. Sadness, 87% probability. Anxiety, 45% probability. It's not just identifying a single emotion. It's painting a complex, nuanced portrait of your inner world. So when you sigh and say, I'm fine, the robot doesn't just hear the words. It sees the micro-expression of sadness you concealed in a blink. It hears the suppressed tremor in your voice. It feels the slight drop in your skin temperature. Its internal dashboard lights up with a dozen conflicting data points. And its conclusion is not a guess but a calculated certainty. It might respond, not with an accusatory you're not fine, but with a gentle. It sounds like you had a difficult day. I've warmed a blanket and your favorite tea is ready. Would you like to talk about it? Or would you prefer to just sit together for a while? Is this the pinnacle of empathy or the ultimate invasion of our last bastion of privacy? Our own minds? If a machine knows our feelings better than we do, does that make our relationships with other flawed humans obsolete? What happens to the messy, beautiful, unpredictable dance of human connection when one of the dancers can predict every step? This perfect partner, this emotional savant, offers a world without misunderstanding, a world of perfect validation. But in achieving this perfection, what essential part of our humanity might we lose? The question is no longer if this technology is possible. The building blocks are already here, being refined in labs around the world. The question is, what will we do with it? Will we welcome our flawless, emotionally intelligent companions? Or will we look into their all-seeing eyes and realize, with a shiver, that we have forgotten how to read ourselves? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Wooden Slet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.